music to the ears of the hungry. The sizzle of a mouth-watering hamburger. Fresh, lean beef, done to a golden brown, couched in a soft bun, and garnished with garnished to the ears of the hungry. The sizzle of a mouth-watering hamburger. Hey everybody, welcome to Android Vision, your summer camp nightmare edition. Uh, I should have brought my pearls to clutch. Oh no, you can clutch these pearls. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hot. It's so hot. It just, it <laughs> it's just, just a little droopy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Android Vision, your summer camp nightmare edition, or what is it, our June something edition? I don't know what it is. Yeah, uh, summer. It's summer. It's summer. a summer edition, and uh, we're going to do summer camp nightmare tonight. Yeah. Did you like it? I did. I did. Cool. Yeah. Like, it's absolutely not what I expected, especially like when I saw the, you know, book was called The Butterfly Revolution, oh. and I'm like, hmm. Loosely based. Yeah. 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 So. But it was fun. It, yeah, it's fun. We're we're gonna get more into the summer camp nightmare. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and watch a PSA. Oh God. Yeah, and it's about um, you know, lunchtime responsibilities. More people. Yeah. Should watch these. Let me ask you a question. When you're drunk, if you're drunk, right? It, are do you? If you're ever drunk, we're not paying for this, by the way. Because sponsors are not getting paid. But if you're drunk or you're ever drunk, do you follow these response these these things when you're in your own kitchen? Without fail. Yeah. I never eat standing eat my nachos standing over my sink in my chonies, just letting food fall. Like, you know. No. I never ugly eat. You I don't I, I, I would never. With your hair I all messy? Never. Oh, no. You never get I don't go to sleep with my makeup on. <laughs> Go to sleep at <laughs> three in the morning. I'll wake up with like my eyelashes stuck to my arm and like my face print like Tammy Faye Baker like in my pillowcase. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I ugly eat all the time. I oh, feel like if, it, if it's not worth ugly eating, it's not worth eating. You know, here, here. right? Yeah, I eat when I piss. <laughs> you Get down eat. like a sniper. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm eating a popsicle and I'm pissing. <laughs> but it's also when I make eye contact with her. <laughs> Popsicle piss. And yeah, I'm just, just staring at her like a fucking, like a psychopath. <laughs> She's just like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I was, I'm eating a Popsicle and I'm pissing. She's like, what the fuck? There's no non-suggestive way to eat a Popsicle either. Like, they're all relatively phallic shaped. And so there's no way of just, you know, like, you know, because then people are going to question your technique, you know? So you got to like, do that again, but slower. <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta get, you know, it's either that or you just go, ah, you know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's not gay if it's cute. <laughs> All right, guys, I want you to enjoy this PSA. Um, it's Mr. Bungle, um, how to behave properly. Never be a Mr. Bungle. <laughs> Just before lunch one day, a puppet show was put on at school. It was called Mr. Bungle Goes to Lunch. It was fun to watch. In the puppet show, Mr. Bungle came to the boys' room on his way to lunch. He looked at his hands. His hands were dirty. And his hair was messy. But Mr. Bungle didn't stop to wash his hands or comb his hair. He went right to lunch. <laughs> then, instead of getting into line at the lunchroom, Mr. Bungle pushed everyone aside and went right to the front. 
Even though this made the children laugh, no one thought that was a fair thing to do. Then, in the lunchroom, Mr. Bungle was so clumsy and impolite that he knocked over everything, and no one wanted to sit next to him. And when he finally knocked his own tray off the table, that was the end of the puppet show. The children knew that even though Mr. Bungle was funny to watch, he wouldn't be much fun to eat with. Phil knew that a Mr. Bungle wouldn't have many friends. He wouldn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Later, Miss Brown said it was time for the children who ate in the cafeteria to go to lunch. She hoped there weren't any Mr. Bungles in this room. Phil stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. He would have to catch up with them later. On his way to catch up with his friends, Phil almost walked past the boys' room, but he stopped and thought. Were his hands clean? No, they were a little dirty. Phil remembered that Mr. Bungle didn't wash his hands. Mr. Bungle's hair was messy, too. Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Inside the boys' room, Phil was surprised to see some of his friends washing their hands, too. Phil washed his hands well, with lots of soap. Then he rinsed the soap off. Phil dried his hands well, too. When he was finished, he threw the paper towel in the basket where it belonged. And then he made sure that his hair looked neat. Now, Phil and his friends were ready for lunch. There was a line of children waiting to get into the lunchroom when Phil got there. He saw some boys he knew at the front of the line. They waved for him to go up to the front with them. But Phil didn't want to break into line as Mr. Bungle did. So Phil went to the end. That was the fair thing to do. He would see his other friends inside the lunchroom. The line moved very fast, and soon Phil was inside. First, he picked up his tray. Then he got his silverware. He put his knife, fork, and spoon neatly on the tray. And then he slid his tray along. He always enjoyed looking at the good food in the cafeteria. It tasted good and was good for him, too. Instead of having a sandwich today, Phil decided to take the hot lunch. Phil took some bread and butter, too. And he knew what else he wanted, milk. But Alice took the last carton on the tray. Maybe there was more milk. So he said, may I please have some milk? Phil remembered to say, may I, and please. That was very polite. Yes, there was more milk. Phil remembered to say thank you when he took the carton of milk. Phil had good manners. He didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle in the lunchroom. Phil didn't want to forget his dessert. The cake looked delicious. At the end of the line, the lunchroom supervisor said she had noticed how polite Phil was, and she smiled at him. She wouldn't smile at a Mr. Bungle. Phil went to the table where his friends were. He put his tray down carefully, pulled out his chair quietly, and sat down. He knew his friends wouldn't like a noisy Mr. Bungle at their table. There was someone Phil liked, Freddy. He always brought his lunch from home. It looked good. Freddy had a sandwich, an apple, a cookie, and milk. Before Phil began to eat, he always put a napkin on his lap. So did Freddy. Everyone liked Freddy. He was very polite. 
For example, if he had food in his mouth when someone talked to him, he always took time to chew the food with his mouth closed and swallow before he answered. Phil noticed how straight and tall Freddy usually sat. Freddy kept his feet on the floor, too. Phil would rather be like Freddy than like Mr. Bungle. Another polite person everyone liked was Alice. For example, when Alice sneezed, she covered her mouth and nose. This protected her friends at the table from any germs. While Phil and his friends ate, a boy ran past their table. You shouldn't run in the lunchroom. Only Mr. Bungle would do that. Phil and his friends wouldn't like to have a Mr. Bungle at their table. Then lunchtime wouldn't be as much fun as it is. Phil ate slowly and enjoyed his lunch. Finally, he had eaten everything except his dessert. He saved his cake for last. Only a Mr. Bungle would eat his dessert before he'd finished the rest of his lunch. And Phil wasn't a Mr. Bungle. The cake was good. Phil drank his milk carefully. Some children are messy when they drink milk, but not Phil. As each of Phil's friends finished, they didn't leave the table, but waited for all the others to finish eating, too. Phil was the last one done. He wiped his mouth and hands carefully with his napkin. Then he cleaned the table where he sat. He didn't want to leave his place at the table dirty. Everyone at the table cleaned his own place well. But look at that table. It was left very messy. Phil thought a Mr. Bungle must have sat there. But Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. So he put his chair neatly into place. And his table looked fine. Not a piece of paper or scrap of food was left on it. No, Mr. Bungle sat here. Phil's friends were careful to put their waste papers and empty milk cartons where they belonged. In this way, they helped keep the lunchroom clean. Phil was certain that Mr. Bungle wouldn't put his paper in the waste basket and his empty carton on the milk tray. Mr. Bungle probably wouldn't bother to put his lunch tray in the right place either, but Phil and his friends did. Lunch was good today. And then Miss Brown told Phil and his friends how proud she was of them. They had left their table the neatest in the lunchroom. No one here was a Mr. Bungle, and no one wanted to be. Are you like Mr. Bungle? Mr. Bungle is ashamed because he spoils lunchtime. Don't be like Mr. Bungle. Have good lunchtime manners, and lunch will be more fun for everyone. Hey guys, thank you so much for sticking up with us. I hope you enjoyed the PSA, Mr. Bungle. Your hair's a mess, my hair's a mess, my hands are dirty. But what we found was... I don't even have a comb in my pocket. We were talking... Well, I don't have you, any pockets. You have, well, you got a wallet, well, you got a prison pocket. Okay, pussy purse. Yeah, pr pussy purse, <laughs> prison pocket. You got two in one, which is great. You could hide, you could hide two... You could hide one, you could hide your crack and your crap pipe. Where am I gonna put my weed? I guess you're right. We'll just hide them all up in the fucking just the womb. Yeah. There pretend you go. like you're having. I've had three kids. I'm sure there's space. Yeah. Just pretend like you're having twins. <laughs> crack in your weed. Um, so we decided we were talking about popsicles. Popsicles and how there's no suggested way to eat them. And so we were what we were talking about was we didn't have a popsicle to. <laughs> we didn't have a popsicle to attempt on. And I wanted to <laughs> prove to you that you can't eat a popsicle very phallic. But we have hot dogs. No, it's yeah. Sriracha? It's sriracha, it's not ketchup. Yeah. Let's tickle the tonsils. <laughs> See the biting, the biting. So aggressive. So, you want some of this shred? I hope it's kosher. It is, come on. <laughs> yes, come on, it's kosher. Yeah, it's a popsicle. It's a meat popsicle. Did you fire your prompt department? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, thanks, dude, for real. <laughs> yeah, that's our meat popsicle segment. Um, comb your hair before you eat. Fuck no. Fuck that shit. I don't comb my hair before I go out. Does this look combed to you? No, it does. Not even a little. No, no. You gotta comb tease in the hair. it to Jesus, and then it's just in God's hands. From That's that it. Point. Just fucking. Yeah. I don't know about that girl with the milk, though. I think that uh, I would have smacked that bitch for a carton of milk. What are you doing? Why are you drinking that? Oh dear God. Hurry, hurry, cut. Something's wrong with Shred. Stop. <laughs> Ejaculus. I, why does everybody hate bungles? I don't know. I'm all about only bungle anymore. Uh, you know, I heard there's a lot of guys that are all about those bungles. Yes, it's very nice. I'm, I mean, bung, bungles. I think my favorite quote is, um, I like to leave it winking like a cyclops in a rainstorm. <laughs> with just with a little tear dripping out of it. A little brown tear? A little, a little white tear. It's mixed. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a light tier. brown tan. <laughs> Cream, some may say. Yes. Didn't you tell me that you liked the uh, preferred when there was two or three hemorrhoids in there? Because it was. It's nice and bumpy that way, yes. Yeah. Oh, I like textured. it when. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah when yeah. you can read a sad story of Braille on their asses, <laughs> pimples, <laughs> fucking great. That's, perfect. That's the best. That's the best, yeah. The best. I'd be your dream girl. Or guy, you know. Oh, I said I would be. Oh, you would? Yeah, all uh, the pimples and the. And all. I'm not piercing my cock. Oh. There's nothing I, I'm not going to do that for you. That's your loss as well. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's very attractive. But you'd have to get a whole bracelet here, wait. <laughs> there you go. Does it work? There we go. Oh, hey. wow. We've had our first hey. cock piercing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be yeah, because it never, you know, goes in easy anyway. Like I said, the bungle is the way to go. So stop being hateful to Mr. Bungle. Mrs. Bungle. Mona. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Put her on blast. Well, you know, she, she likes that dirty stuff. She likes the butthole stuff. Messy hair and dirty She sends hands. me videos. Uh, are you sure she's the one sending the videos? She told me she only likes the butthole stuff when she's in depression because it, it makes her pain feel pain more. Is that yeah. true? Just don't eat any chili, because a chili seed in the peel is fucking horrid. <laughs> you have a butt bush? It's like a mullet. That wasn't that wasn't you then with the videos. <laughs> what are you doing later, Mona? Yeah. She always she always jokes like that, but she never meets me in the kitchen of this RV. The kitchen? You said the alley. I like doing it in the RV because I like jizzing all over the fucking crusty carpet in this thing. Sorry, Shred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you ate that hot dog off a pile of my fucking crusty jizz. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking with us. I hope you enjoyed spewing with the Jaculus. And uh, video I vision. I did. With Shred. I think Shred's okay. You know, he's in the Lord's hands now. Yeah. Hopefully he'll get over whatever he ate. He he ate like a... Who would feed him such a thing? Uh, oh! <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's hot dog night. It's fish stick night. Meat and, popsicles. Yeah. There you go. Um, Alright, guys. We're doing summer camp nightmare. Right, that's summer the, the, camp nightmare is doing us. Do it, yeah. The butterfly revolution, as it's known as well. I don't yes. know. I think they changed it from butterfly revolution because it probably wouldn't have sold. 
as well. Yeah, because it, like honestly, when I when I kind of heard about the plot and I and I, you know, saw Butterfly Revolution, I was thinking of that. Uh, what is it? The like Whitewater Summer that Sean Astin movie, Kevin, Kevin Bacon, Bacon, where he was the dickhead like, Get counselor. Down, yeah. Be a fucking man. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he was a total dickhead. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be like that. It's not like that. No, it isn't. It's not like that. It's very weird. It's squirrely. It is squirrely. Um, tagline. What's the tagline in it? It started as a game. Campers against counselors. It turned into a nightmare that became... No! It's not to love. Yeah, it was on the cover too. He's like, ah! So yeah. camp nightmare. It's always the... You know, it's always the baby face hot guy that turns out to be the like revolutionary sociopath. He was a sociopath, wasn't he? You know, he? like if my dating history is any indicator, that's been my experience. That's what you get for chasing the fucking hot guys. You need to date, yes. you Maybe I'm chasing the revolution. No, you should you should marry ugly men. Oh yeah. I did that once. Oh you should. Didn't yeah. work out for you. Nah, that yeah, one. that first one. But yeah, I leveled up. I leveled up. There you go. That's what counts. So uh, I guess this movie's like when a group of teenagers uh, and, and campers, they're campers, they revolt against the uh, powers that be. Right. right? The, 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 the head of the camper. Basically, whatever. if you're an adult, like a fully grown adult, yeah. you're a bad guy. You're, oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, right. He, he was the head werewolf and he was like. Um, he was a sailor though, so he's very elusive. He can go from port oh, to port. Oh, he's very sneaky. Yeah, he's a sneaky werewolf, and he had a, he had an eye patch. I think that was homage to uh, Cycle of the Werewolf book, or <laughs> what was that Silver Bullet movie? Never but, trust a man with an eye patch. Really? Yeah, you don't know where they've been. You know, we were talking. I had an accident at work where uh, I had between I had a, a screwdriver fall on my Bing. eye. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing those old pointy bras. If you were a man of a certain height, hey, have and I you hugged tried you, those pointy bras? Wow. Yeah. They're very interesting because it turns out that like they really are. They're they're like conical, and so you know boobs. Most boobs, my boobs certainly are not conical, but you can actually like just kind of bloop and like make like inverted nipples mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. You know, if that's your thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so they're 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 fun to wear. They offer a very interesting silhouette, but very distracting. Like yeah. my ADHD brain, you. I'm like, it's a fidget. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. The distracting part. <laughs> they oh. Take, when you lose your eye, they take your eyelid too. Do they? They do. That's rude. Yeah, unless you unless you're getting like some false prosthetic, they take your eyelid. It's just a hole. Why can't I just My leave a? Used to blow out pot smoke through his blood, his nose <laughs> Amazing. Why can't I you just know? leave a milky eye there? Well, you said if she loses an eye. Yeah, like if it gets all like you know like Losing splattered like, completely, and they're like blood. we like we can't work with this. We have to okay. remove the Let's tissue. If I was so blinded lost. and they my vision. Oh, blinded. Okay, yeah. yeah. Would you leave the milky white eye? Yeah. I feel like something like that. Like that would be different. Scare the kids. Ah, yeah. Scare the kids. Yeah. Uh, it's scary, buddy. Be a creepy old dude at Halloween or, you know, on a Tuesday. Well, guys, um, it's hot as a motherfucker. You're sweating. sweating. It's the summer for Summer Camp Nightmare. Uh, enjoy the movie. We will be back with interesting facts and questions right after this. Okay.